All right, we're going to find the uh, distance from a point to a plane, and we're going to do it in kind of an intuitive way. Um, I'm aware that there's like a formula, but I don't really like memorizing formulas. I'd rather just know how to do a problem. So here's a problem we're going to do. We want the distance from the point 3, 1, negative 2 to the plane x plus 2y plus z equals 1. Um, so what I'll do first is I'll draw a picture, and I have that. And what I want to do is I'm going to find another point, or I'm going to find another point, and this point's actually going to be in the plane. Um, so the easiest way to do that is uh, just kind of look at the plane and say uh, if x was 1 and everything else was 0, we would have a, a point on the plane. So 1, 0, 0. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is from this point that I found in the plane, uh, I'm actually just going to put the normal vector to the plane uh, starting there. I'm going to make that the initial point of the normal vector. So the normal vector um, will be like that, and you can read it right off the plane. So that's going to be uh, 1, 2, 1. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a vector from the point that I just made uh, to the point that I was given. So this vector right here. So that's going to be terminal minus initial. So I'm going to call it V. So V is 3 minus 1, comma 1 minus 0, comma negative 2 minus 0, or 2, 1, negative 2. And uh, now what I want to do is if I go straight across uh, from the point to the normal vector, like this, um, and then from that point, if I go straight down, that's actually the distance that I want, right there. So that I'm going to call D, and uh, you might recognize if you've done a lot of problems that D is actually a thing that we calculate a lot. It's the component of V along N, um, and so in case you're not familiar with that, uh, what that is, is it's going to be the absolute value of V dot product with a unit vector uh, in the direction of n. And I'm putting absolute value for uh, a reason that I'll explain a little later. But the absolute value has to be there, because distance has to be a positive thing. Um, and then another thing I can do to kind of simplify this calculation, not really, but kind of, is I can do the dot product first, and then divide by the magnitude. So I get that. And now I'm just ready to calculate it. So um, I have to dot product v with n to get that, and then divide by the magnitude of n to get that. And I can simplify that to just 2 over radical 6, and that's the distance that I was looking for. So that's kind of how I do it every time. So uh, let's, let's come up with a plan for how we can do this. So the distance from a point P to a plane, um, the first thing I do is I identify the normal vector to the plane. Um, and that's going to be n. So you just pull that right off. Uh, the next thing I do is I find a point in the plane. Um, and I usually do this kind of just by inspection. Uh, usually I let one of the one of the components equal, uh, you know, whatever, and then just solve for the other um, values. So the third thing we do is we create a vector from the point Q to the given point P. And we call that V. So it's going to be QP. And uh, then we're pretty much done. So the distance that we want is actually just going to be the absolute value of the component of v along n. And uh, if you do that, every time it's going to work for you. So let me just explain what a component is in case you uh, are unfamiliar. If you're familiar with that, you're, you're done and you can move on. But if not, um, what I'm going to do is draw the picture. And uh, I'm going to go straight across again. And this is actually the component of v along n. Uh, so to figure out what it is, I'm going to put a theta here. I'm also going to call this d again. Um, okay, so using vectors, I can say that the cosine of theta is v dot n over the magnitude v times the magnitude of n. So that's from the definition of the dot product um, is where I'm getting that. And using a right triangle, I could say that cosine of theta is d over the absolute value, uh, not the absolute, the magnitude of v. Um, and then they're both equal to cosine of theta. So if I set them equal to each other, I'm going to get this, which you could probably take from here, but I'll finish anyway. Um, and then I can multiply by the magnitude of v, and I get that. And then that is the component of v along n. So that's a scalar. Um, and sometimes it's positive and sometimes it's negative. So uh, in my picture, obviously, it would be a positive. Um, it can be well, it'll be positive if the angle is less than pi over 2, because that means that the dot product is positive. 
Um, but if the angle is uh, greater than pi over 2, then the dot product is going to be negative, which means that um, the component will actually be negative. So that's why I threw the absolute value around it when we were doing the uh, distance. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and good luck.